Dan Perry here with another video on C and C++ programming for Dan on Tech. And in this uh, video, we're going to talk about identifiers and we're going to talk about how we name identifiers and use them. <clears throat> identifiers can be used for storing variables or constants. These can be numbers or characters or strings. They can be used to identify um, functions, procedures, and we'll look at functions and procedures way down the road. So we've got our identifiers that allow us to use and store values or identify those things. And there's some rules for the way identifiers have to be named. First off, they have to contain alphanumeric characters, A through Z, 0 through 9, and they can contain the underlying character. Those are the only allowed characters in C and C++. The identifiers can be really as long as you want to make them. However, some compilers may limit the number of characters they uh, uh, recognize. Most compilers today will allow you to have up to about 63 characters, some more so if I was to name something longer than say 63 characters and had two different variables but the first 63 were the same, they might not be able to distinguish that they're two different things. I can't see why you would name something something that long. It's a whole lot of typing and everything else. So why would you create a variable that name that long? But 20 to 30 characters is something you see on a regular basis. <clears throat> now variables or identifiers uh, as i said a through z zero through nine so some examples of some valid ones num num uh, x x1 well things like x and x1 though probably are not good names uh, for most cases because you go back and look and what does x represent so you more often want to name a variable something that when you see the name it tells you what it is, what is it storing. So, for example, total. Total underscore number, and there's using that underscore character. Now, you can't use the minus sign. It has to be the underscore. If you use the minus sign, if I had a variable called total and another one called number, and I said total dash number, is that a, a, an identifier total dash number or is it total minus number? So what we want to do is we want to make sure we use the underscore character. In fact, you'll get an error if you don't if you try to use something other than the underscore. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is that today when you've got a variable with more than one name, quite often what you want to do is you put those words together instead of the underscore. In the past, you used to use the underscore. Today, you typically put those together and use something we call camel case, where the first variable, or first part of it, is lowercase, but each word, the first letter of each word, is capitalized. So total number, the N in number, is capitalized in camel case. Here, another total number, the T in total and the T in number is capitalized. The first letter is not. Now, also with these variables, with these names, they are case sensitive or sensitive to capitalization. So, X and X are two different things. So, capital and lowercase x. So, you might have to watch out for your capital capitalization. And that's why today we try and be consistent and today most people are using that camel case structure so try to stick with it uh, and as long as you're consistent on your capitalization things should work okay uh, don't forget to like uh, our uh, or subscribe rather to our uh, stream here to our uh, playlist so you can get additional videos as they come out